Hello everyone, this is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes, and I have a new journal all ready for you to take a look at. I have covered this Gutted Reader's Digest book with tea bag paper, and I was inspired to make tea bag paper from Artie Mays, and this is how it looks. Let me see if I can open up the whole journal so you can see front and back. And I did stitch around the, the paper before I applied it on the book. And this was so much fun. And it, to me, it resembles leather like an old, loved, worn book. And it's got all that fun, different colorations that you can get from tea bags. But she has three signatures and about 156 pages. It is a writing journal with a lot of the same features that Fern had. So let's go in and take a look. Oh, but first, this little book plate here is open. So you can put your title in right there or the date or whatever you like. The digital image that I used on my inside front and back cover is from Art Archaeologist on Etsy. And the anchor pages that I used are Tim Holtz and Prima. And here I have a little flip. And this was inspired by Dee Dee Farrago in her 3 and 15 Don't Freak Out Before Christmas Challenge. And I've got little tags in each one of these pockets. and it is attached with muslin. And I've got several different types and varieties of um, coffee dyed paper, some grungy, some not so much. But I wanted to convey an old worn look. This is a drawing paper. Here I have a book page from Wildflower Observer's Guide and a vintage ledger. I always have to put ledgers in my, my books. Invoice. And I've used a five hole pamphlet stitch to attach the signatures to a hidden spine. And on the cover of this one, we have another one of Dee Dee's pockets from her challenge. There's a large tag behind and a tag in each of the pockets. Itty bitty. And one behind the pockets also. And here we have a pocket, and I made another little notebook from tea bag paper that I attached to music paper, and I have a little um, washi type sticker of a botanical image, and then I stamped this onto some grid paper and sewed all around it, and there's a little journaling card inside and some different coffee dyed papers. So there's a fun little notebook.
this is a, a tracing paper and I have a drawing paper And in this pocket, I've got another little um, matchbook type of pocket notebook with Tim Holtz paper. And this one has a little notebook inside. And I got these edges by using my tab, file folder tab punch. And that just lives right there. And on this little flap, there's a pocket behind. And it has a journaling paper. And then in each one of these little music pockets, there is another little journaling page that's just folded to look like an envelope. And they tuck right inside the little pockets. Here's a, a vintage Greg Shorthand book, painter's masking paper, a very old antique ledger page, And this book is available in my Etsy shop. In this back pocket here, I have another, um, an authentic invoice dated June 30th of 1941. right inside and here I've got another piece of the tea bag paper and I attached it to a um, coffee dyed manila file folder to make a tag and then I just put a little round tab punch tab and then an eyelet and this is journal Thank you very much for watching and have a creative day.